Today is the 75th anniversary of VE Day, Victory in Europe Day. It was on this day 75 years ago that the Prime Minister Winston Churchill announced that Germany had surrendered and that the war in Europe had ended. It was a day of national celebration with parties and festivities. Thanksgiving services were held, including 10 services in St Paul's Cathedral, London. However, even with those services and celebrations, there was sadness as people remembered loved ones who had died during the war and remembered those who were still being held as prisoners of war. And of course, there was the realisation that although Germany had surrendered, the war wasn't over. During the Second World War, the King and Parliament had called the nation to prayer on a number of occasions. Each time, God answered in miraculous ways. One of those national days of prayer was in May 1940, in the lead up to the evacuation from Dunkirk. Prior to the evacuation, a series of amazing things happened. For some unknown reason, Hitler ordered his army to stop, an order that remained in force for three days. As well as that, bad weather grounded German planes. Both these things made it easier for the Allied forces to retreat to the beaches. When a flotilla of boats of all shapes and sizes made their way across the English Channel, the sea was exceptionally calm. Almost 340,000 men were rescued, far beyond what was expected or even thought possible. Churchill described it as a miracle of deliverance. The miracle of Dunkirk and many other miracles before it and after it, including the miracles we read about in the Bible, encourage us and others to believe that God hears and answers prayer. They encourage us and others to turn to the Lord in prayer, to turn to the Lord in repentance and faith especially in these days to pray for mercy and deliverance, to pray for restoration and renewal. So please do pray today, encourage others to pray and continue to pray in the coming days.